Ryan Nelson here and today I'm going to be doing a drawing of a bird. Um, I'm going to do it kind of freestyle. Let me look for the actual name of the bird I'm looking for. It's actually what I will. Um, it's actually called in English red, let me see, red-tailed hawk. It's a, it's a bird of prey um, and I remember as a kid there were a lot of these birds in Puerto Rico. Um, there are across, I believe, in Central America as well. Let me read here. Guaraguao, uh, Guaraguaos. It's, it's a red-tailed hawk that lives in Cuba, Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. So yeah, I used to see a lot of these birds, magnificent birds. They're hawks, really. They look um, very beautiful. So. I'm going to try to see if I can find a photo reference so I can start making my drawing. So I'm going to do kind of a free drawing. I'm not going to actually do a very realistic um, look, but we'll see how it comes out. Anyway, so I'm going to start by using a Steedler um, blue pencil, non-photographic, so I can do the initial sketch. Then I'm going to use, I have the number 0.3 Copic I have um, a brush from Pigma and uh, let me turn this music down a little bit I also have a 0.1 Pigma Micron I also have a 0.05 Copic so this is what I, the tools I'm going to be using of course a little eraser and an electric eraser let me just check that the video is actually working. Yes, we're good. Also using this, um, I bought a a ring, what they call it ring light, LED light, to kind of give it a better lighting. I've been noticing that some of my videos just don't have good lighting. Okay. I mean, this is not going to be a very accurate interpretation of the bird but let's see how it comes out Of a fantastic old bird. Um, actually, what I'm going to do instead of making the drawing of the actual bird, I'm going to kind of introduce some mystical, fantastical elements to it, see how that works out. Okay. An elongated beak. You guys are doing okay. It's been crazy out there, let me tell you. All this quarantine and um, COVID craziness is just driving everybody insane. Let me look at the photo again. Okay. Try to, try to do this as fast as possible. I really don't want to be here for a long time. And I don't want to make this video too long so it doesn't become too boring. So, kind of adding some elements here and there. Kind of looks like a crow, but it's not a crow. Actually, this beak looks a little too big. Kind of try to look a do of a curve here to make it look very, very pointy.
work better. Make a big circle here for the eye. It's a quick sketch. Very menacing looking. feather effect here. I'm kind of feet drawn right now. Uh, making stuff up as I go. The reference doesn't help very much because the reference is so detailed that <clears throat> it kind of a uh, it's a little distracting, so I don't want to do it exactly like in the actual photo. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think that's about it. Let's try now. Start with the brush. <clears throat> Pigma. This is a brand new brush I bought a few weeks back. I love this brush as by the way. Okay, let's start here. drawing with um, your inking with brushes it's all about the pressure the more pressure you put into it the bigger the lines I mean the thicker the lines If I want to add some crazy details there, kind of do like a wild take on this back feathers. Not too much detail, just kind of like.
almost looks like the ball head ego. I'm not going to do the iris, I'm just going to draw the circular um, shape of the eye, that's basically it. I think it looks mysterious that way. Okay. Now this type of paper I'm using, <coughs> let me show you, is actually, um, it's just regular multimedia Canson paper. Really, this is the paper I'm using for this. I'm not using anything special. I figured that um, I want to preserve the Copic paper for other drawings instead of this. Just kind of like... This is kind of like a quick sketch. It's nothing major. Okay. some line work here. Somebody asked me the other day, um, what, why do I draw what I draw? And um, Honestly, I never thought about that, but I think what I draw what I draw because I think it depends on how I feel at the time. Um, if I feel like doing something scary, I want to draw it. Or something beautiful, I like to draw that. As of late, I've been feeling a little stressed out. I guess all the politics and craziness that's going on around the world. Some, some scary skulls. Okay, let me just do this guy. Beautiful day today too, here in Arkansas. The weather is just fantastic, I gotta say. Thank God. We're heading for Thanksgiving. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family, friends. drawing right now. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty good, I think. What do you guys think? Does it look good?
It's kind of adding some extra features to my style. I really love those pens, they're fantastic. Okay. Now, let's go back to three. Alright, I think that's about it guys. Hope you like it. Um, it's nothing extraordinary special, but it's a little drawing. Um, Sunday um, shield drawing. Um, let's just put it right here. Initials. That's it for today guys. Hope you like this video. I'll be seeing you in another drawing video. Hopefully um, leave some comments, likes, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Take care. Bye bye.